Yo, real quick, guys, before we get into this news video and speak about all these upcoming releases that I am so hyped for, um, I'm not like a lot of other content creators. I try to keep it as real as possible. And a bunch of people in the comments of my last video saying, hey, thanks for motivating Boog to upload a corrected video because in his previous one, he was one of the many creators that left out the early bird price. Guys, I hear you, but my video was not specifically just for Boog. I watched JC post about it and do the same thing that Boog did. And and go back and forth and debate with people as well as a few others on instagram so my video just wasn't for him specifically but if the shoe fits oh well you know he pretends he doesn't know me and know who i am hey that's fine that is cool but i'm not like that i don't pretend to not know other people in the same content space as me on youtube especially if we have a lot of people in common with each other and they have thousands of subscribers and a decent follow on themselves i'm not going to pretend i don't know them so my video was for anyone that tried to shit on ramen and conveniently leave out the early bird price and not give accurate info on it because i bet guys if the haslab ghost rider car if they would have said 175 for the early bird and then 250 a month later nobody that's a legends fan in some way shape or form including myself would have left out that 175 price nobody would have left it out then if hasbro would have said 175 for the early bird you guys know when it comes to commentary or me sharing my thoughts on a creator or a situation I say names. I did it with Talk Art and his situation with Dan. I did it with Kendra. I did it with Rush. I did it with JC. Come on now. If the video would have been targeted to just one specific person, I would have said that. But hey, for anyone that it could apply to, it is what it is. Some people won't say my name because they already know I don't duck, dip, or dodge no one. Especially another grown man being passive aggressive with a huge following that wants to have a conversation with me. I've had tons of conversations with creators behind the scenes. When I made my video about Talker Art situation with Dan and what I agreed with and what I did not agree with and Talker Art wanted to have a conversation with me when he was willing to, I didn't duck, dip, or dodge him. I had that conversation man to man. And everything worked out for the better afterwards. Same with Shardimus. Had a conversation with him. Everything worked out for the better afterwards. I've had tons of conversations behind the scenes with creators in this space and there are some amazing amazing bomb ass creators in this space let me say that again there's some amazing creators in this space but there are also tons that just like to throw shade and pretend they don't know people but let me stop sharing my thoughts because as book said in his updated corrected video when some people speak negatively you know or they clickbait the thumbnail or whatever they're just testing the algorithm even if they do it multiple times it's okay man they're just experimenting and testing the algorithm but when others do it, they're clout chasing. So there's, there's no winning. And I'm cool with anyone who doesn't know that I exist. Continue to not know that I exist. I'm cool with it on my channel. I share positive thoughts and I share negative ones regarding this hobby. Because I keep it real. 15K in a year and a half, guys. I don't need the views from drama. And actually, my worst performing videos are my debate ones. But from time to time, we got to keep it real and address some of these passive aggressive grown ass men directly. And I'm not just talking about books specifically. I'm talking about anybody that the shoe fits wear that shit and run down the block with it on bro i appreciate anybody that appreciates me basically man a lot of people see that i'm on the rise without having to align myself with either them or major corporations and for those of you that see how real i keep it on my channel and that's why we're growing so fast over here i appreciate you guys because there are a lot of other people that want to throw subs want to take shots but they know better than to say my name so let them stay over there and keep doing their thing as i stay over here and continue to do my thing but nah, guys, I didn't have one person in specific during that video in mind because as you guys see, based on my actual actions and not just my words, when I'm criticizing a content creator or a company, I give my commentary and speak on it directly, not in puzzles, not in subs, not in shots, not in fog or mist. No, I'm very clear and direct when I need to be as a grown ass man should. But how does it even get to this point regarding toys? That shit is hilarious. Like, it's just commentary. People can voice their opinions about anything. But some people get really sensitive about it. But enough with all that bullshit. Ain't nobody here for that, right? Let's do this. Might be 10 p.m. Do you know where your action figures are? 
What's good, everybody? Articulated Ninja here, and let's go over some of the most recent six to seven inch scale action figure news for the most part from like the last week or so. Of course, we on the Find My Figures Instagram page. This is my girl's Instagram page. She runs it with her girlfriend. How can I be homophobic? And let's just start it right off. I don't even want to waste time. I got to talk about these guys right here. This is exactly what I've been waiting for. Oh my God. All three of these brothers look amazing. I'm not a fan of these pants. I hate these clown looking pants. But damn, everything else about these guys, I absolutely love. Like they all look so distinct, different personalities. This is on 5K Toys right now. The Fury Toys Abyss Force Wave 1 Shark Brothers, AKA Street Sharks. It's basically Street Sharks, guys. This is a, like a seven inch line. Oh my God. Still to be announced um, as far as release dates and everything else. But oh my God, I cannot wait. Look at the videos. Look at this hammerhead. The paint apps on this thing look amazing. And if this is the same Fury that has done other things, including the the turtles and oh my god this is gonna be so nice look at the decos look at the the arm wraps those brass knuckles look bad as there's even like brushing and detail on them i hope that these figures are everything they look like they're going to be oh man look at his tommy guns yo <laughs> his decals passionate it looks like the guns what did the gun say <laughs> passionate i can't read that other word these things look awesome i love that he's a different all three of them are different colors um this looks nice look how much the mouth actually opens the scar on his face these guys just look good i think he's probably the leader of course just a stereotypical great white shark um i love the way that this guy looks the smoking cigar the top hat everything about this guy looks so good to me man get him in hands and just when i thought that this line was only going to give us sharks just when i thought they were only going to give us sharks they show these guys sir, get me that gadget but sir it's a prototype get me that gadget the soldiers so there's going to be army building possibilities in this line oh my god yo there's just everything's to be announced stop with this shit just just announce it give us some more information this looks amazing this looks like the savage crucible one of their figures on steroids and if you did order savage crucibles i'm sure this will look so nice next to their paranoid looking figures man i got so many of those on the way because i did the kickstarter and i just cannot wait to mix and mash them with these guys because this looks this looks nice look at the detail on him Look at how sharp those teeth look. Hopefully it's like soft plastic, but man, these guys look intimidating. Imagine four or five of them grouped up or 10 of them going at those sharks. This is going to be so, hopefully, hopefully this is gonna be such a good line. But pre-orders and more information will be announced over on 5ktoys.com or their Instagram, Abyss Force. I did not think I would be looking forward to something as random as something called Abyss Force, but I felt the same way about Savage Crucibles before they dropped. I, I had no idea what I was missing until I knew what I was missing and I am missing these figures from my collection. Also, Big Bad Toy Store has shown pictures of their Lucane Special Edition um, this i can't i don't think it looks bad man i do think the red on him is is different than the previous figure so i'm not sure exactly what accessories are different which are the same i don't remember seeing these though but the dragon definitely wasn't made out of flames so i think that that looks pretty cool um, if you're into this type of stuff i personally don't have many storm collectibles mortal Kombat figures because i'm still waiting for them to drop some type of female it's like they just they don't want to release no females at all so i'm waiting for something like that before i go all in on you know these guys because i have enough shelves that are just sausage fest you know i don't i don't want more shelves that are just sausages everywhere and just you know i'm good I, I want some females storm give us some females but this looks good i like the way that this dragon looks um some more promo images from hasbro and if you are into scrolls i do think that this is cool man i know people for so long that like this stuff have spoken about you know getting updated scrolls on updated bodies and i think that these don't look bad at all uh, if you did miss out on the first spider woman in this thicker mold and these colors this is your opportunity to get it now now that is the downside as well it's just a repaint and there's still pins it's not even on the upgraded female body so that does suck you guys can see the pins in her legs and stuff like that it's literally looks like looks like to me i might be wrong looks like the same exact figure with a different head and some accessories but if you did miss out on this spider woman i am one of those people that did 
um, I, I can just pick up this two pack if I want to get this Spider Woman in my collection. But I'm I'm still glad that she's on that thicker buck because they really don't use those anymore. So yeah, it sucks that it's a repaint. And then again, it's good for anybody that missed out on the old one. And then moving on to this guy, I do like how he looks. He has the Iron Man chest plate, Doctor Strange cape, Mr. Fantastic arm and i guess like a thunderbolt helmet and body and he doesn't look bad but they finally people that want to build scrolls can start building their scroll army out and as usual his body for the most part does look like a repaint so it is what it is at this point super seven i always say it, it might not be my scale might not be my thing but when it looks nice it looks nice and this to me doesn't look bad it looks cool i'm basically saying that i mean the name's articulated ninja of course any female ninja i'm going to be excited about for the most part so there's there's that bias that's there maybe this isn't maybe this is just trash but i do think it comes with a ton of accessories it should for 55 dollars to be honest because the articulation is pretty limited when it comes to super seven super limited actually when for me personally in my opinion when it comes to super seven but the this looks good like the the accessories everything here looks good she is a little bit more on a bigger scale they range about like seven eight inches but of course zilla is over here with the jokes and he's not wrong i am iron this thing he, he's right for my reasons it's a ninja and it's a female so that's pretty cool I like that pose right there but yo this is this this doesn't look bad i like all the hands all the accessories like i said but it should for 55 dollars and limited articulation it definitely should but hopefully they don't they don't drop the ball with this and the people that are into super seven um will actually like this figure storm collectibles again showing off the mitsurugi action figure from the soul caliber line i'm not sure if i'm saying that right i'm trying to think about the games that i used to play when i was younger i'm pretty sure when you selected him it said mitsurugi um this looks nice really really cool they they are kind of big in general storm collectibles is kind of tall compared to legends and classified and valiverse and storm is pretty big man but the detail is there usually the articulation is there um i'm sure more information is to be announced it says eta quarter three of 2023 um but i like the way that this looks this looks like a dope ass samurai hopefully we get more soul caliber characters especially females man give us ivy give us these curvy females because soul caliber like taki has some of the most badass females around so hopefully we get to see more <laughs> So McFarlane Gold Label, you know, these, these repaints and making them exclusive just because. And it's this shit is crazy. I, I would think that nobody really was into this stuff, but this thing sold out. It sold out super fast. I've seen so many people complaining about this. I believe this was a Big Bad Toy Store exclusive. And boy, when I say that this sold out and people had issues and check out and just it seemed like for the people that were trying to get it, a lot of stuff that could have gone wrong did go wrong this was crazy I, I don't know man I, i'm not sure specifically what these companies could do about scalpers and bots but to me personally these effects look cool but it's hard for me to see anything but another repaint like this is the same exact flash that i have in red it's just repainted with a fancier box it says big bad toy store exclusive and it's a closed sleeve box i guess but um yeah not for me but i do feel bad for the people that did actually want to get this and they couldn't because how fast it sold out and i'm sure that had to do with bots and scalpers and because there's no reason this isn't an army builder man so there's no reason why a lot of people would want six so or multiple in general unless it is to sell them you know so that sucks hopefully people that did want this will get another opportunity to get it on something else on 5k toys and they're doing this to be announced shit no, no to be announced like give us some more info please these girls look amazing amazing they called the three face obviously this is a playoff of the last of us and these are clickers and just infected in general they look badass this looks nice i definitely want this in my collection you guys know i love my animal figures i love my military figures and i love my zombies man this is gonna look so good fighting against some action force figures because the detail on them everything i think they will be similar to the resident evil figures up on 5k toys recently and if it's a more premium figure we already know it's gonna come with a more premium price so these girls will probably be expensive i hope it's not a three pack i hope you can order them individually but this looks cool hopefully we get some more not last of us but last of us figures if you know what i mean this looks cool 
and ah oh, this this was refreshing another thing on 5k toys the special force skull sergeant this looks like some type of mezco figure basically like and and it looks premium it looks like that you know that premium plastic and cloth that i talk about it looks like it i'm, I'm interested to see what this would be like in a hand because i don't normally like cloth figures um and when i say cloth i mean like full jeans full upper body and i didn't really dive into mezco yet so i'm not a big fan of those figures like that but uh, this doesn't look bad at all. The ETA is May 2023, so that's right around the corner. And it's up on 5K Toys right now for 50 bucks. And as you guys can see, it comes with a bunch of accessories. But I think for 50 bucks, this is really good considering, you know, standard figures nowadays are approaching $35, 40 bucks, depending on what store you go into. Um, so for 50 bucks, I think this is cool considering it is cloth. It is. I'm definitely going to check it out. The guns don't look bad here at all. Yeah, man. Just the detail on him. Everything about this. This guy looks dangerous. Shout out to Laser Pants right here. The great white potato. But um, yeah, this, this man. I'm interested. 50 bucks. Let's see if it's going to be good or not. Fog Toys Fantasy Alphabet Series. This is pricier, I guess, around the 130 mark, but you do get basically an entire vehicle. And the figure looks super detailed. This looks like something out of a Netflix anime. That's literally the vibes that I'm getting here is just a straight edge runners netflix anime this looks pretty cool i like that his arms are mechanical like that this bike looks really nice um especially if it lights up it looks like it does because that's clear and right there that there's clearly a light on it there i don't hold me to that though i don't know if that's just you know photo magic but uh this looks cool i kind of might want this just for the bike but this is 130 you get the bike and you get the figure and that's cool you can strip the armor off of the bike so you just can see the skeleton like that so yeah, I think that's pretty dope, man. For 130, you get the bike and you get the figure. Oh, they show the lights right here. So yeah, it does light up. Um, yeah, this is pretty nice, man. His articulation looks pretty decent too, especially for him to ride and look forward. That articulation on the neck is obviously needed. And they come with a ton of stickers and decos. Now this, I think this is cool by itself because a lot of companies don't do that no more. And it comes with an entire diorama base. In a perfect world, I'd say like 80, 90 bucks, but you're getting a vehicle with lights in it diorama base all these accessories and these decos and these stickers a lot of companies nowadays don't give us stickers and stuff so i think that's pretty cool because i don't think i'm going to use these stickers on the bike i don't want all those stickers on the bike but these stickers will look nice on some other kit bash projects and vehicles that i got coming soon Hasbro revealed more indiana jones stuff at the star wars celebration that they had in europe recently and uh this looks pretty cool yeah, I don't see a price on it, but it's Hasbro, so, you know, maybe the price would be a little bit too high. I'm sure they're going to mark this as some type of deluxe figure, but this podium looks really nice. I do wish this was, like, removable. If I could catch this on clearance or sale, I would definitely get it, even just as a diorama prop. But um, the figure and the podium doesn't look bad to me. I don't know how movie accurate it is. I'm going to have to check in with Retro. He's the Indiana Jones expert and see what he thinks about this. Each of these figures come with a piece of this artifact, and the artifact looks dope, man. I would have paid for this on its own, just as in more toy photography and diorama props. But if you are into Indiana Jones that much, they are given a, quite an assortment of figures here. Right here, I, I like this monkey, man. If I see it on sale, I'm gonna get it, because I love my animals, you guys know this. Um, and I do feel like these bodies are great bodies for civilians in general, whether it's in the Legends line, it's in Classified, it's just great. Look how nice this builder artifact is. This is dope, man. I wish it was just its own thing. The way the podium was its own thing. I wish it was just its own thing. And I apologize in advance because once I say this, you might not be able to unsee it. But I think these little things glow in the dark. But the pictures don't do it no justice at all. They look like carrots that I grew up eating in a public school system in New York. Like, I just see carrots. So I don't think these pictures do this justice at all because that's all I see when I look at this thing. But like I said, these people are good civilians in general. I think I'm going to try to pick up a few when I can, catch them at the right price. Um, and this actually does look like some cloth comes on some of these figures. So I'm interested. I'm, I definitely want him because we really don't get a lot of kid action figures in general. So to have him in a shot with civilians or whatever, riding a subway in New York, right, that'd be pretty dope. Man, this they, they're just rolling out these Indiana Jones figures. 
same with some higher thugs here most of all i see is civilian bodies because i'm not attached to the property or the license like that of indiana jones i think it's cool but i'm not attached to it in a major way so i'm just seeing a lot of cool civilian bodies here i don't know how movie accurate it is or it isn't i'm just looking at it purely from the aesthetic of it being an action figure and saying will i have use for it does it look cool things like that um this book is definitely pretty cool but yeah, these are here for anybody that's actually interested. I think Indiana Jones fans are finally getting some options in the six inch scale. She Nations, AKA SH Figure Arts is showing off their movie realization Stormtroopers. I think this looks pretty nice, man. Um, I love I love this accessory. This is dope. Um, but to army build these guys would be pretty cool, especially if you're getting other figures in the line like this one. This, this Mandalorian looks nice. I love this little, this little head patch on grogu right here that looks really cool man um so yeah just more stormtroopers samurai style that's i love when companies do different renditions of uh properties and licenses i think that's pretty cool of course we got some more star wars stuff but uh black series in general i see them struggling a lot nowadays i see a lot of people that were happy with the black series no longer as happy with the black series it seems like everything's like an exclusive or a repaint and when i say repaint i don't necessarily mean a good one i mean like a bad one Send <laughs> um <laughs> so even though these look like repaints at first glance i am seeing some new parts but more importantly i like these colors these colors stand out they're bright they're the total opposites of the previous figures so i like these colors don't have an issue with them and the accessories look good i've seen a lot of people disappointed with this figure because they've reused parts that supposedly they shouldn't have reused and to get the figure to be accurate they only had to change a few things i like this guy a lot <laughs> i love this feature right here if i can get some of these figures at the right price um, I definitely will, but at full retail, I don't think so for majority of, of repaints. I just, I'm not paying full retail for them, but I don't think that they look bad necessarily. Once again, more Star Wars, and it's these types of repaints that I'm talking about, where, you know, they do the chrome edition or that. It's just, why? Why, man? It's just, there's so many repaints. This kid looks new. I would definitely pick him up if I got him at the right price, but a lot of this stuff just looks like repaints to me, and I'm sure a lot of people are not going to be happy. Even with them throwing in like certain accessories, I've never seen this before. This face looks pretty cool to me, just this pose in general, him looking at his helmet. I think that's pretty cool, but there's a lot of Darth Vader's. I just feel like there's so many more characters that they can be really shining a light on or focusing on, and they're not, and I see that from a lot of Black Series fans in general. Um, Cad Bane again I'm not sure how much of this is an actual repaint but um, I like his guns <laughs> I can say that I like his guns I like the bullets and the, the, the paint apps on him don't look bad at all it does not look bad at all but um, things like this is, is killing the line based on what I hear a lot of other people say I was never big into black series um, I just appreciate it from afar and when something looks good I like to I pick it up if I can especially if I can get it on sale Hopefully Black Series turns it around. This little guy looks cool. I would definitely pick him up if I saw him. I'm not qualified to really speak in detail about these figures because it's not one of my main lines that I prioritize. I just look at it like, do these figures look good? Do they not? And have I seen, how many times have I seen these or something very, very similar to it from the same company on the shelves? And when it comes to Black Series, usually the answer to that is a lot. And of course, I'll let you guys know already in one of my videos, that are ramen toys their pre-order window is still open i believe it's open until may so hop in on that early bird price at 175 to get this nice ass vehicle that's what i will be doing at 175 yeah head over there and go check that out but yo guys i didn't even go over everything that she actually has on the find my figures instagram page so head over there instagram find my figures i just went over the stuff that looked the most interesting to me because if i go over every single thing that she posts on that page we'll probably be here for 30 40 plus minutes and yeah i got lives i'm not trying to keep you here forever but anyways we end every episode off with a cosplay weather girl and this week's weather girl is Sophia Sivan. Damn. Yo, sometimes we get a cosplay weather girl who has amazing cosplay and then sometimes we get one whose curves is the cosplay. This girl is stacked. Imagine if some toy companies gave us figures shaped like this. You know what I'm saying? It's not only 
thin girls that exist imagine if we got some shape like this that would be crazy sophia has nice curves but she also has a very interesting choice in selection when it comes to cosplay so it's gonna go to her definitely i enjoy these weather girl segments because it is a slight break from just plastic action figures we get to see some beautiful women dressed up as basically action figures so we take a break from the plastic but realistically maybe these girls have some plastic on them too but it's okay man as long as it looks nice everybody's happy but yo thank you to everybody that rocked with me for another ninja news video i appreciate you guys let me know down below what you're excited for and what you could care less for either way i'm gonna read it y'all be safe out there peace G.I. Joe, classified, Marvel Legends on my mind, Valiverse and NECA time, Mythic Legends I must find, SH figure arts I can't lie, Rebel Tech got my pockets dry, set action figures for life, Articulated Ninja is nice, yeah, you might wanna subscribe, action